We are on the go with Joe, and he is getting an early start on St. Patrick's Day celebrations. Yeah, he's live in Lake Oswego, where a popular Irish pub will open with a brand new name and a big weekend festival. Joe's here now to tell us more about their St. Patty's party. Hi, Joe. Yeah, good morning, guys. So we were back here at the Dullahan for years. It was known as Mars, but it's been uh, rebranded. It's launching its new name, basically, just in time for St. Patrick's Day. Big festival that gets underway today. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Back with the family, Reese. They are the uh, the owners, the new owners of the Dullahan. And it's it's a it's a family establishment. You can bring your kids here, have some food. Uh, tell me about some of the uh, Irish goodies, Justin, that we have right here. So this is one of the classics. This is our corned beef and cabbage. Okay. Absolutely fantastic. You can't have a St. Patrick's Day menu without a little corned beef and cabbage. I believe there's a law against that. And my goodness, what, 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 what is that? That is our fish and chip. We have a haddock that goes on there. It's a full, full slab of haddock on there with their, your traditional I, chips. I thought it might be whale because it's so large. <laughs> okay. All right. And then uh, what, what else do we have here? So we have a uh, uh, curry and chips, which is a vegan option that we have. Wow. Okay. A lot of people don't know that but, uh, curry is actually a pretty big thing in Ireland. And, and well, we try to implement that. Yeah. Here. I mean, the British rule the Indians and the Irish. So yeah. I, I know that as an Indian. So here we go. And then last but not least, uh, what, what is this? I've never, I've never heard of this. This is an Irish dessert. Yeah. It's a uh, plum duff, which is pretty much a bread pudding. And what it was back in the day in the Navy, they used to just pretty much take all the old bread and soak it in rum and all that stuff. And... They made a bread pudding out of it. Boy, I, don't, I don't know where to start. I'm going to try a little curry and chips here. Let me see here. Uh -huh. Ooh, I've, oh, God, that's pretty good. <laughs> All right. So, Justin, tell the folks at home about the festival. And not only that, just the dull hand, when folks can come out, where you are, and how they can come join yeah, absolutely. you. Absolutely. So the festival goes on for the next three days. We're talking Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're starting here at 3 today with live music, and it goes all the way until 10 p.m. on Sunday night. Um, we are at 352 B Avenue here in Lake Oswego. We are ready to throw a party for you. I come love on. it. Uh, now, I wanna, we've got all our friends here. Hey, Jack, my, uh, my friend from Ireland. You're from, is it Cork? Is that where yeah, you're from? from Cork. Okay, yeah, now, I, how, how's the curry there? Oh, fantastic. Okay, tell me, tell me how the curry is here in Oregon. All right. See, see I come from an Indian family, so we like our curry. I didn't realize you Irish liked your curry. We've got something in common there. The best, the best I've had here. Is it? Okay, fantastic. All right. What, everybody here, raise your glass here, because I want to wanna have you all wish a, a very uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. So I'm going to end things with a uh, special proverb. May those who love us love us. May those who hate us, may God turn their hearts. And if you can't turn their hearts, may he turn their ankles so we know them by their limp. <laughs> Slancha! Guys, that'll wrap it up from the dull hand. Happy St. Patty's Day. Let's send it back to you in the studio.